Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started on this video, I know the setting is a little bit different, but yeah, I just thought that, you know, we can sit down in front of the natural lighting and hopefully this video will be relaxing for you guys to watch because I feel like this is gonna be a long video. So I thought, let's change my setting and enjoy the natural lighting instead of filming in front of my artificial lighting since it's daytime now, so why not, right? But um, yeah, so this video will be my best of K-beauty for 2017 and just um to let you guys know that you won't be seeing seeing any Korean lipsticks in this particular video because I'll be doing a separate video on that just because it's so hard to pin down what lipsticks I like and which one are my favorites for 2017 so I thought I'll do a second part on that which will come out after this video but for the primer for the face primer I chose just one just one and this is the Hamish Atlas Glow Base and the reason why I chose this is because first this has SPF 50 and I tend to use this a lot for a lot of my makeup just because first it's really hydrating and it also gives you the um, illuminating look like you know it's just like that glowy look as well which is nice like that strobing look which I really like because I have dry skin which means sometimes my skin can get really dull. So having this under my cushion foundation just give me that really nice glow that I want and I really like that it helps to make it long lasting and of course you have SPF 50 and it's actually pretty affordable. I'm actually running really low on this so luckily I have a second one stock up to use but yeah a lot of my other primers are a lot of um, western ones but this is solely Korean beauty so yeah so I this is my holy grail for a Korean primer. On to the foundation and cushion it's really hard to choose like one or two products so I just combine it and just make it into five five of my favorite best best Korean cushion and foundation. So the first one is a foundation and this one of course I'm sure you guys would know this is the Tuku for School Art Class Studio D10 Liquid Air and my one is in number 4 sand. Obviously I've done a review and first impression on this so I'll put it up here for you guys to check it out but seriously I love this so much it is so lightweight the skin tone it just the foundation matches my skin tone really really well and I like how long lasting this is and it doesn't show any of my dry patches and the best part about this one you can even use this without a primer that's how amazing this foundation is it's a little bit on the high end side but I really really like this compared to all the foundation I have and I just yeah, there's not much I can say but it says you must get it if you're interested in this. I think they have another version out which I really am keen to try but not a lot of sites stock them so keep an eye on that and let me know where I can get the other one as well. For the cushion, I have four cushions here. So yeah, so I just want to talk about my cushion. I've been really really picky about my cushion since probably middle of the year just because I had or have salicate allergies so it means that I do react on some type of food that causes salicate sometimes I don't know and my face tend to flare up on and off which I really really don't like but yeah sadly I have to work my way around it so a lot of my cushion now can be a little bit on the pricey side but it helps me a lot and I can probably feel really a lot for you guys who have acne skin as well because it is really hard to find a cushion that is good but also doesn't make your acne or your sense of skin worse so yeah a lot of this cushion that I'm going to mention is a little bit on the pricey side but do you understand it's because of my skin the first one I want to talk about is this Trioruke A plus cushion and this have saved my life during the first few months of my allergy because when I had my allergy I could not put anything on my face but sometimes I have to go out with makeup and this is the only cushion that I could use because this one obviously have 99% skincare and 1% makeup so if it gives me the shape that I want it gives me a little bit of the coverage that I want and it helps to maintain my sensitive skin it didn't make it worse it sort of make it better but it is breathable which is amazing so if you guys have acne prone or sensitive skin definitely get this one because this is just amazing and lifesaver and this one also have SPF 50 which is great but just remember this only comes in one tone so this one is like probably just under shade 23 but it's my skin tone so yeah second cushion i'm sure you guys would know this is the Hera cushion and i love 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 this so much i got this in the shade 25 
matches me perfectly i love this so much the coverage is between a medium to high coverage but if you want a higher coverage you probably have to put concealer underneath but i love this so much and i'm on my second refill now and i'm running really low on this it's a little bit pricey but it comes with a refill in it so it's actually really worth it i really want to stock up more on this one at first i was like oh maybe i can find a better cushion but after using this all the time i just love it a lot this is my go to cushion when I go for like a night out or a nice event I love this a lot another one that will be great for acne prone or sensitive skin and dry skin is this cos rx clear fit blemish cushion i've had this for a while now and i got mine in the shade 23 now this one have a really high coverage which means sometimes it may look a little bit cakey depending on your skin so for me is i like to actually prime it and then use this cushion but no powder just because if i put powder it'll look a bit cakey but i love this coverage and this one their target is sort of similar to to the trial okay where it's targeted for those who have any prone skin and can't really use much makeup this is actually great because of the ingredients that is contained in this so this is very safe for those who want coverage but don't want too much makeup so yeah i really really like this a lot but this one doesn't come with a refill either the last one i've had this for a while now and this is my misha gumso cushion i love this so much first because of the packaging i'm a sucker for packaging and second i mean the inside of this is just amazing the skin tone um, i got this in the shade number three and it just matches me perfectly i love this so much i'm running really low on this but i finally found links for a refill for this so i'll put in the description box below because i'll be buying another one because i love this so much the coverage is between low to medium coverage and this is my go-to cushion when i want like a natural makeup or like a daytime look i'll go for this one because it's not too thick and doesn't look cakey at all so definitely love this one a lot so for concealers there are three concealers that i really like a lot of concealers i tend to use it for my under eye area and on the my mouth area as well there's but the one that I really like to use for my blemishes and my redness is this set the same cover perfection liquid concealer and I got this in number two. It is so creamy and the size of this is massive but it's so affordable as well. I love how creamy it is and it glide on easily onto my face and I just blend it up with a beauty blender or a cushion and cushion puff and it's just amazing amazing finish obviously this goes under the cushion or the foundation but if you have um, the skin tone that matches with this I mean your skin tone match with this then you can also put it on top because it's that amazing and other two concealers that I like for my under eye area is this the first one is this Misha cover prime and I got mine in the shade number i don't even know the shade i'll put it down below because it doesn't say the shade but i love how pretty it is the wand is actually not that fat looking so it actually fit perfectly onto your under eye area i love how blendable it is it blends really well with my blender or my cushion puff and another one that i've been loving a lot as well is this clear cucumber airy fit concealer it is so lightweight like air like it's just you don't feel anything under your face like i feel like i can layer this concealer up as much as i want and i just don't feel a thing that's how lightweight this is but obviously one thing i just sort of don't really like is that it's really tiny like look at this one it's so so little but yeah i love but this one a little goes a long way so like this much actually goes on both sides of my under eye area that's how pigmented it is and this one i got it in the shade number three 0.5 and if i'm not wrong this one have a lot of shades which is really really great on to the face powder if you guys watch me for a while now you would know that i don't really use powder quite often and even if i find a powder it has to be not thick it has to be really lightweight and doesn't make me cake up just because i do have really dry skin and the only powder that i've been using for a while now is this althea petal velvet powder just because it is very lightweight i love how soft and silky it feels on my skin it's just amazing and what i do with this one is i just use a beauty blender a wet one pat it on the powder and just pat it on the targeted area that i want so this actually lasts me a long time i've used this a lot now but i still have a lot left and this is quite tiny but it's actually really affordable so yeah i'll put definitely put the link down below for you guys to check out yeah and 
how cute is this packaging? It's so luxurious looking as well. Next, I want to talk about bronzers. You guys would know I love bronzers a lot. And I do use a lot of Western bronzers. But this year, I've been trying a lot of Korean bronzers. Because I want to try how they are like. Whether they are pigmented enough. Whether they are, you know, brown enough for me. So, yeah, I've actually found three favorites. Like, three that I really like. And I think there's two that I mentioned last year as well. For my last year beauty favorite but I'm not sure but I'm still gonna mention it because I really love them a lot the first one is this Misha color beam shader this is leaning more towards the tan side this is great for those who have probably medium skin tone but you know mine is between light to medium and I really like this one especially during the summer it just makes it look really nice at the moment it's summer now so I'll be you know be able to use this really soon but sometimes I don't care as to use it anyway because it's amazing it's pigmented and it lasts for a really long time a little depth goes a really long way and this one is in the shade BR03 I know this whole collection it comes with blusher as well so yeah I really like this and I really want to try the blusher because I haven't got my hands on trying them yet Another bronzer, this is the Face Shape Single Blush and this is in BR02. This one you can see, this one le lean towards more of the brown side, not really the tan side. So this is great for skin tone like us. You don't want something too tan looking like that one but I mean it's, it still look amazing on me anyway. So I like this. This will probably be great for all skin type. Like it just looks amazing. The other bronzer that I really like is the Skin Food Sugar Mix Shading. I love it. It comes with two different shades but what I like to do is I like to mix swirl my brush around both of the shades and it gives you that beautiful bronzy look that you want for. It is not too heavy looking and a little goes a long way for this one as well like I've used this so much but I still have a lot left because yeah and one good thing is that this one comes with a mirror so this is like my go-to when I travel because it is it's so handy and this one is called diet cookie so yeah so for the blushes I have two that I really like I like blushes that are more of like the deep tone pink color like mauvey pink color like not too bright not too light not too corally like so i'm quite picky with my blusher and every time i choose my blusher is always the color are always very similar which is really bad but that's what i tend to go for and that's what matches me really well so the first one is this ali tam sugar ball velvet cheek color and this one in the shade number five and i've got to buy the rest of the collection because this blusher first is pigmented second is such a cute packaging and third the color is just beautiful like i think this is like one of the best korean blusher that i've ever tried it's just amazing and it's not too expensive either and it comes with a blush a brush and a mirror like how much can you ask for it's just amazing and this is the color and it is so so beautiful i love it so much the color is like a mauvey pink it's the type that i tend to go for it is perfect for all year round for winter for summer it just looks amazing on me i really really like it a lot now the second blush is also a pink shade and this is the Innis free one and this is in number two and i really like how pigmented with this one is like the brush you just have to dab just a little bit and it's like so pigmented it is just amazing i love it so much like i've used it so much but it hasn't even like gone down at all because i've just been used like dabbing the brush in i haven't really swirling around because it is that pigmented definitely i would definitely try more colors in this collection as well so yeah that's my goal for next year to try more blushes out so i'm going to do a quick voice over here because i forgot to feature the highlighters even though i had it out already so the first one is the skin food sugar mix highlighter which gives you a very natural glow when you apply it on which is great and then another one that I like to put just after using my foundation sort of like a base is this face shop highlighter beam it was a little bit pricey but now it's actually getting shipped um, cheaper and so I feel like this one gives you like the perfect illumination on your face without making it too shiny but very natural looking so I love this too for a natural highlight look the eyebrows there are two products that i've been really loving this year this first one is this nature um republic was a wood eyebrow and this is in number shade one deep gray first of all can you see how long this is like i mean the bottom is a spoolie but if i take this off it is still this long and i've been using this a lot and i haven't even sharpened it yet because 
First, it is pigmented and it just won't go down. It reminds me a lot of my Shu Umera, but this is more pigmented and the grey tone really matches me really well. I love this so much and yeah, I just yeah, I just cannot wait until I get to sharpen this because honestly, I've used this a lot and it still won't go down. Like the texture wise is more of like um it's not gel but it's a little bit of a jelly light but a harder version of that like more of a waxy type of um, eyebrow pencil which I really like because I don't like those stiff eyebrow pencil you know what I mean that shows a lot of the lines when you draw on yeah if that makes sense and plus this is so affordable as well like I bought this because you know I was like oh it's cheap why not try but I didn't expect to actually love it that much but yeah really really like it and it comes with a spoolie how can you complain my eyebrows how I like to maintain it is is to thread my eyebrows every fortnightly so that's how I get the shape of my eyebrows and every time I get my threading done the eyebrow pencil that I would use daily or regularly would be this one and this is the face shop brown master waterproof oh it's waterproof eyebrow pencil did not know it's waterproof until i read it and this one is in the shade number three dark gray as you can see i lean towards a lot of gray pencil and first this is more of a waxy type but it's a softer which means that it's like on really like glide on really easily so it's very pigmented so take your time with this and that's why i like to use it when i'm done threading because i have that not perfect but that really nice shape eyebrow pen eyebrow going on which means that when i apply this it's really easy to go on and it just shape it really nicely i love it so much but it's funny because when i use it can you see how sharp it became look at that it's like all wonky now it started off as a brown tip but now it's like a angle tip because of the way i use it so i like really like this a lot and i'm surprised it hasn't really gone down yet either because i've been using this so so much and it comes with a spoolie as well which is good for the eye primer um it's really hard to pick an eye primer that i really like but the one that i tend to always go for is this vdl expert color primer for eyes i use this a lot already but i think it's running low yeah it's actually like down here now it looks like it's full still but if you look closely it's actually only a little bit left which means i have to stock up i love this so much it reminds me a lot of the um nas eye primer that i used to have so this is like a good deal but it's, this one is still quite pricey so but it's cheaper than the nas pri eye primer so yeah i really like this a lot the finish is like a translucent finish it doesn't give you any color on your eyes so obviously this is great for under eyeshadow just make it more pigmented and more long lasting as well and the packaging is so pretty for the eyeshadows, it's really hard to choose eyeshadows that I like because I tend to go for a lot of western eyeshadows so a lot of my eyeshadows are single eyeshadows rather than a palette there's not a lot of palette that I would say is like my best I like them but I wouldn't say it's my holy girl or it should be in this video so I pick out a few of my holy grail single eyeshadows that I really really like so yeah so the first one is this RPOA creamy butter shadow which also can be considered as like an eye primer but I'm just gonna put it down as an eyeshadow because I love all the colors I like using them as a base they are so creamy they are so pigmented they don't crease on the eyes at all I really want to buy more of this but it's so hard to get them because they keep running out of the shades that I want so yeah if you guys have other links definitely let me know because I really want the whole collection. Another eyeshadow single that I like is this Misha one. I mean Misha have a lot of shadows but these are 4 out of 9 that I have. I'm not gonna go through all of them because I'm telling you I'm pretty sure all the shad single shadows that they stock are all pigmented. They are all creamy and they are so smooth and they are so affordable as well. I think they have like matte um, finish. They have shimmery one and yeah they have few different types so yeah i would definitely recommend any misha single shadows that um you guys are interested in another single shadows are this aritam one i recently got this but i really want to put it down here because when i first applied this on my eyes i just 
I was so amazed with the pigmentation. I did not expect it to be that pigmented. Like once you dip it onto your brush, especially the dark brown one, it just goes onto your eyes. So you have to be careful with this because it is so, so pigmented and they are so affordable as well. And I really want to stock more on this one. They remind me a lot of the Misha one where they have a lot of matte and shimmery shadows. So yeah, definitely recommend them as well. And the last eyeshadow, this is leaning more to like the shimmery shine side shine side and I like to apply this on the inner part of my eyes and this is the Aditam shine fix eyes and this is in number 35 one thing I don't like about this one is that look it sticks like this it it didn't dry up but I think because of the heat it soaked up for some reason but I really want to stock more and I keep the plastic to maintain the um the compact to be together if that makes sense but I really like how pigmented how shimmery this is it's just so beautiful and I want to get my hands on a lot of them because they're affordable as well like how can I complain if they're affordable they're pigmented they're pretty that gives you a nice finish like big thumbs up the eyeliner I have a few I'm really picky with my eyeliner because of because a lot of my eyeliners are Japanese brand so but the holy grail the eyeliner that I would always go for for Korean beauty is this Innisfree um, power proof pen liner so I got it in both black and brown because they are first waterproof the it is so easy to apply onto your eyes and it is so long lasting this is like my go-to eyeliner whenever I go travel because I can trust it a lot and I like to also line my eyes up as well and the ones that I love to line up with is this Innisfree Always New Auto Liner I actually got two of them now because one has already run out and I'm on my second one I I love that this one actually helps to sharpen your eyeliner up every time you finish using it. It's like there's like a sharpener up there or something. I don't know how it works, but it is amazing. So it is so handy, especially when you travel, but you don't need to bring a sharpener around, which is great. Another one that is very similar to the industry that I've been loving as well is this RPA Auto Sharp Liner, which is so pigmented. It is so black. I think it's much more black than the Innisfree one. And this one melts instantly onto the waterline area. Like, not melt, melt down, but like, it's just so pigmented. It's just, it's just so nice looking. I love it a lot. And this one has like a instead of like a twisty like the Innisfree this one is like a push push thingy and yeah it also helped to sharpen which is really really great the mascara I only pick one because mascara I use a lot of the benefit mascara but the mascara that I always go for for Korean one is this Innisfree super long lash car I had like a hate love relationship of this in the beginning of the year but I started to love it after that because it curls up my lashes instantly it gives me the perfect length that I want and it looks so amazing Amazing top and bottom lashes as well and this one is this is the long version which means that this one look at the it curls up it's just amazing and it has like some fiber in it as well which help to um, extend your lashes which I really love but underneath I also like to use this Etude House Doctor Mascara Fixer when I feel like it if I want a longer lashes this is amazing this is obviously a fixer like it's not it's like a primer it's not a mascara so it has like all this fine um, fiber tip coming out which you know attached to your lashes to make your lashes look longer which I really like now for the inner part of my eyes, I always like to highlight my eye area and the one I'm currently using now is this Etude House Play 101 Blending Pencil Number no. 1. This is Pony, um, Pony Makeup favorite inner corner um, pencil that she always used and that's why I got it and it's amazing. Even though it is quite round, it fits perfectly on my inner area and it's so long lasting. I still have so much but it gives you that perfect bright eye that you want it's like a white shimmery shape but it's not too pigmented but it's so so pretty like I love it so much but if I want like a really glam like a pop my eye type I really like this Misha Lina one and this is I don't know the number as well but I'll put it in the description box below I know it comes in two different shades but I really like this one a lot because it is leaning towards the gold shimmery shite well, I keep saying shy but side and I really like this a lot like I'm running low on this one so I need to stock out on this because this is limited edition so for fake eyelashes I only have one particular brand from K Beauty that I use all the time and this is actually the Etude House My Beauty Pool 
two lashes and this is actually my last box just because I ran out on most of them that I bought back when I was in Japan I think so I need to stock up on them when I go to Korea next year and hopefully I can find some in Hong Kong as well because these lashes are really really hard to find actually I think I bought some in Thailand as well which is really good so I definitely will stock up a lot of um, Etude House lashes because I really like how lengthening and how they spread out really nice on the on my eyelashes and the one that I really really like the most out of all the Etude Heart lashes is this particular one and this is the O3 volume just because it volumizes really nicely it's not too long but it's the perfect length for me and I really really do like them and the reason why I don't really try other Korean fake lashes because I don't really see much like yeah correct me if I'm wrong but I don't really see much fake eyelashes that I would think is natural looking I don't know but I always trust Etude House a lot because a lot of my lashes I do buy them from Japanese brand because they look really nice but I really like the Etude House one a lot as well and I think I'm wearing one of it as well the Etude House one so yeah really really cannot wait to actually stock this up really soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have a feeling that this video has been really long but if you guys have made it through to the end Big, big thumbs up for you guys because you guys are amazing and I'll be planning on a giveaway really really soon beginning of next year so stay tuned for that because I'm so grateful with everyone that has followed me throughout this year and the previous year I think out of all the years this year has been my successful one like you know just commenting with you guys and doing videos that you guys enjoy and like especially this video I wasn't even sure of even doing one of this but you guys has requested it a lot and as promised I've done it for you guys so I really am grateful for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to watch part 2 which is the Korean lipstick one which will be up straight after this one and I'll see you guys on my next video bye